Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. I hope you guys are all really, really well. I hope everyone is surviving in this extreme heat waves we are having. I currently have a fan on, I have the door open, so we're gonna have birds singing, we're gonna have the fan going, but it's the only way to film this video without the heat. So, we're gonna do our best, and I thought today I'd just talk you through some of my kind of top tips, the products I like to use and swear by personally when it is this hot. I recently did a trip in Palm Springs, um, a work job I was on, and it was about 45 degrees. I'm still not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it was very hot. Needless to say, I had to look after two models and make sure they were okay, make sure they didn't burn, the makeup had to stand the test of time. Um, I tried my best to look somewhat put together that day, so just thought I've learned quite a bit recently that would be helpful maybe to you guys, also talking kind of hair and skin, just an all round kind of summer survival beauty guide. So um, if that sounds good, just keep watching. So I'm also gonna be talking as well about kind of recreating this look. This is like my go-to sort of like heat resistant, surviving the heat, if I'm gonna wear makeup, should we say. So I'm gonna start with skincare first because there's lots of things I've been using that are new recently. And let me know if you guys would like to see a video or a blog post with kind of my overall skincare routine at the minute. A few people have been asking for that, but let me know if you prefer a video or a blog post. So once I've done all my normal kind of cleansing, etc., cetera, um, I do like using this at the minute. It's by Dermalogica. This is their antioxidant hydra mist. Again, it's really cooling. It's nice to kind of top up with throughout the day. And with the sun being out and the sun exposure, I want as much antioxidant protection as possible. The next step for me is an SPF. So sometimes this is kind of like if I did all my normal skincare in the morning and then I'm about to do my makeup, I will go in with that antioxidant hydra mist by Dermalogica. This is a new discovery and I think it's gonna excite a lot of people. This is a new formula by Dr. Gareth Fisher, MD. Uh, this is Doc Block. Now I have the body lotion, which comes in, this is the Body Essential Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30 for body, which is very nice. But without a doubt, the star most exciting piece of skin has to be the Dot Block Daily Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 55. It was tested against the top five, I believe, um, like the top five selling sunscreens out there and supposedly came first. Um, all I can say is this is beautiful under makeup. And I know you guys, whenever I kind of share my favorite SPFs, you all tell me how much they break you out and that they still feel greasy. This one does not feel greasy. It feels just like a normal moisturizer, even more so than my beloved Dermalogica SPF 50 Age Smart. I feel like the texture of this, you'll see as I kind of apply it in the cut away, it's more like a normal cream. Um, even though it looks white when it comes out, there is no white cast whatsoever. And I used this in Palm Springs and none of us got burned. So very pleased to report on that one. That has kind of become like my newest SPF favorite. Um, quite a few blog posts I've done regarding my favorite SPFs for face, so I'll link those in the description box below, below should you want any more details on that. So one big thing I've been adding into the evenings actually at the minute, which I wanted to tell you guys about because I think the price point is good compared to what I had been using. So you guys know I love the Sicily Black Rose uh, face mask, still love it, still amazing. The price point is very expensive. Um, but I've always loved that that kind of goes on clear, so it's great for travel, it's great for on planes, no one can see you're putting a face mask on, and you don't have to rinse it off, so it's super easy. This for me is kind of the nearest best thing I found, not so much the same ingredients or anything like that, but same principle, and it's by Image Skincare, this is their Vital C, this is an overnight hydrating mask. Perfect for summer, again it's got vitamin C in, smells divine, I feel like the texture is somewhat of a kind of gel, so kind of similar to the uh, Sicily Black Rose Mask. This one I feel absorbs a lot quicker though as well. So if you don't like the feeling of something left on your skin, this one has a much faster absorption rate. Um, but I just love it. I feel like that for me in summer is nice when if I'm sweating already and I'm hot going to bed, this doesn't feel like I'm adding more kind of oil into my skin. It kind of absorbs quickly, but I get the hydration. So that's really nice on top of my kind of current favorite serums. Let's talk hair. I feel like hair is a difficult one. I'm really, really missing my fringe at the minute, or bangs if you're American, really, really missing them. Um, and headbands have been my saving grace. So a lot of you guys have been very kindly asking where um, you love the headbands I'm wearing. And I think a lot of you thought they were like, I'd actually tied them all the way around. It's literally just an Alice band, so, or a headband. Um, really, really easy. I buy them from Urban Outfitters. They are so good. I think whether you're sunbathing, whether you're on the beach, they are just fantastic. I've got like four of them in all different prints can't recommend them enough. I feel like they're a good chic way to kind of pin hair back, pin your bangs back, and just keep it out the way when it is this hot. So that's my go-to. 
However, if I'm looking to kind of do a little bit more styling, one product that I have really, really loved recently is the Hair by Sam McKnight. This is the Lazy Girl, so this is his dry shampoo. Yes, it's very, Insta whoa, very Instagram worthy packaging. Really, really beautiful. Obviously, Sam McKnight is incredibly well renowned, respected hairdresser. Um, and knowing that he's put his name on it, I just knew it was going to be good. And it's a really, really fine mist. Smells like a nice, expensive perfume. Um, there's no kind of white cast in it. Again, in the hair, it just looks clear. Very, very beautiful. And if I am having, if I'm getting to that point where I know, I know this is gross, but like sweating in the night and I don't want to wash my hair every single day, just kind of like get rid of the oils, then that for me will do the job. So the other thing I have been doing as well, actually, because I feel like while the roots are getting more greasy because it's so hot and I'm sweating more, my ends are getting really, really dry in the sun. I think so much so my hair, Dave definitely said my hair is starting to go a lot lighter. So I know it's obviously been dried out by the sun. So one thing I have been doing after the shower is using the Way Hair Care. This is the Rose Hair and Body Oil. Great because it doubles up as like kind of both body and hair. So great for travel, for holidays. Again, especially if I've been on holiday or I'm in the sea a lot, this is great when you come out just to put a bit more nourishment through. And I've tried various different hair oils and I'm not really into like super herby smelling like hair oils. I don't know why I don't want them on my face, but I don't want my hair to smell like a kind of herb farm. This is Rose, really like it, really simple, and it's just great. So let's talk makeup. Now, I am the first to put my hand up and say sometimes if it is just that hot and I can get away with it, I don't wear makeup and I'm totally fine with that. I feel comfortable without makeup. By the same token, sometimes I miss wearing makeup and I also do want to wear it or perhaps there's an occasion where I feel like, okay, these look a bit more put together today. Um, and in those circumstances, I have been going for this foundation. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. You can see it's about half used. Um, this has SPF 50. Now, I know Nadine Baggett did a really good video recently um, where she was talking about her five favorite foundations with SPF. And I think because this is SPF 50, it really, you, you, I haven't ever got burnt with this foundation. And I do feel like generally, my face overall tends to be a little bit lighter than the rest of my body because I always use SPFs in my foundation as well as an SPF under my foundation. So I really, really recommend this. I love the formula. I find it's the right side of dewy. If you want something even less dewy, go for their regular CC cream. I just feel like the IT Cosmetics formula you can really build the coverage. And I like the fact that if you've got good skin, you can use, use a little where you need it. If you've got acne or rosacea, this is also gonna cover you. So I feel like it's a really good all-rounder. And it's just been one of my kind of favorite foundations for the summer. The other thing I've noticed I'm doing actually is if I'm not going kind of like a full foundation or no foundation foundation, as the uh, It Cosmetics one is called, I will use this. This is by Hourglass and this is their they are retouching fluid so it looks like a concealer with like a doe for applicator and I really like this for kind of doing makeup touch-ups generally but I also feel like this is a really really nice lightweight kind of great on the go quick cover-up so I can use this kind of under my eyes around my nose really really simple really easy to use and I feel like it's so lightweight it feels like air on your skin so if you really really hate the feeling of foundation in the summer definitely give this a go and just use a little where you need it um, it's not going to have huge coverage because of the translucency of the product but I think if you want that airy feeling on your skin and just a slight pick me up this is a really good one for the summer heat Without a doubt, the first thing that wears off my face, makeup wise, has to be my eyebrows. I just feel like it doesn't matter what I use, most things when it is this hot do start to kind of come off my face. Um, the one thing that I do go back to, we're at my wedding day, it's kind of, I've been revisiting it a lot as like a good shot my stash old favorite at the minute, is the Lancome Sourceal Gel. Now this I love because it has more of that kind of waxy formula so it grips a little bit more. And I do think if you're gonna look to make your brows last, go for something with more of a, like a pomade finish. Yes, you can set the hairs as well, but I feel like my general kind of summer makeup, I don't want it to take me too long either. So if I can skip a few steps and just do this, just to fill in where I need it, that sorts me right out. So if you like wearing a little bit of color on your lid or you want to kind of hide any fatigue or do something super quick, I really think you can't beat going to something like a long wear cream formula eyeshadow. So many brands do them now from NYX to H&M to Max Factor to Kiko to MAC. I actually used a MAC paint pot today in Perky. And I just find again, these are great. You do your brush, do your finger. Once they dry, you can reapply more. This way you can skip the step of needing to have an eyeshadow primer and just go straight into some color with some opaqueness. And I just feel like, again, these really, really stand the test of time. They last really, really well and great heat proof product. 
Also, when it comes to eyeliners, there are so many great long wear formulas now. One I've been really enjoying at the minute is the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner. They've got some really fun colours. They're quite a nice price point, kind of mid price point. And I feel like with these, the main thing I like about them is the brush is super, super skinny, but you can also kind of like dunk it in more product and get a thicker line. So I think this is quite a good universally friendly one it feels more like a paintbrush quite similar to like my tom ford one um it's not a felt tip so it lasts really well in the tube as well great for holidays apologies if you can hear a bird squeaking really loudly i can't see it but i can hear it <laughs> um so waterproof mascara or at least at the very least a long wear formula it goes without saying and i have fallen so hard back in love with max giga lash extended play mascara this one is, um, I feel like it does perform like a tubing mascara, so it's a great waterproof one that's really easy to get off. Great for the bottom lashes, great for the top lashes. It's got a really nice, super thin wand, and I think it still gives a good amount of volume on the lashes. I don't know how it does it. It's great at separation, great for volume, a really good mascara. Now, I think I've said it several times, I mean, when it comes to kind of blush or bronze, I think if you're already sweating, you might as well just go in the kind of, if you can't beat them, join them camp and go for more of a glossy, creamy blush or bronze look anyway. If you put powder and set everything perfectly and you start sweating, you will get that death becomes her, kind of like where it pulls through the powder and that's never a good look. So for me, I really think, again, if you want super lightweight formulas, I definitely think you can't beat the Pericone MD. This is like the no bronzer bronzer, no blush blush, no eyeshadow eyeshadow. They just, again, feel like air on the skin. So they'll be super comfortable, especially for my no makeup makeup girls out there who love that kind of look. These are brilliant. They're also good for layering as well if you want to then put a cream blush on top. Um, what I've gone for today is an old favorite. This is Make Dew Pot in Bronze. I think at some point I'm gonna have to see like the most used products throughout my channel ever and this will be in there. Um, it's a cream bronzer, but it's like a beautiful glazed donut. I mean, hopefully you can still see the sheen. When I wear this, I don't need any highlighter. And I find, imagine if Laura Mercier's secret camouflage made a bronzer and it was sheeny, this would be it. I feel like it has that same long lasting texture that really grips to the skin. So it's not kind of, I know this sounds gross, but it's not fighting your sweat if you're getting really, really hot and it's humid. This just stays looking perfect where you've put it. I feel like, you know, if you're already in a hot country or in a hot climate, this is just gonna work with how your skin looks and make it look like it's meant to look fresh and really, really glowy and dewy. And I love it, I think it's just brilliant. It's such a great go-to. You're not really gonna need a highlighter because it gives you that nice kind of glazed sheen. If you're into the whole glass skin look, this will be perfect for that. And that is just my go-to, it's super easy. Apply with fingers, kind of dot it on and blend out with fingers. So the other thing I really, really love for summer is the RMS Mod Collection. This is the signature, I think it's called the Signature Collection. Um, again, a great one if you're traveling and you just don't want anything on your skin but a bit of moisturizer or SPF. Use the balm, use these as cream, lips, cheeks, highlighters, everything's in there that you need, bar mascara. Um, and I think that's great when you want the bare minimum and it's too hot to even think about makeup. Um, so let's think what else we haven't put that I was gonna mention. Um, concealer, I feel like use whatever concealer you like to work with, just try and work with the bare minimum. I prefer not to set my concealer when it's this hot just because I know I'm then gonna have kind of streaks in my makeup and I do think it's harder to kind of repair the makeup. So that's where I would keep something like my uh, hourglass product and I would just keep this a kind of touching up should I need it throughout the day. Curl your eyelashes, I think that makes such a big difference, especially if you feel like even waterproof mascara doesn't work for you. Give those lashes a curl. You can even put some clear mascara on as a great tip just to kind of set them in place. And then for me, the ultimate kind of setting, finishing, locking everything in place, like I said, avoid powder and go for something like a setting spray instead. Um, my favorite one for this time of year is the Urban Decay Chill Spray. Um, and this is the makeup setting spray, cooling and hydrating. So again, you can use this to mist throughout the day. It's gonna set your makeup. It's gonna feel really cooling on the skin. And it's just gonna help lock things into place without having to rely on a powder. I think it's fair to say a lot of us forget about SPF when it comes to our lips. And a lot of brands now are putting SPF into lipsticks, whether that's lip balms, lipsticks. Um, there's many options to choose from, but the one that I love, again, for kind of low maintenance, super easy, not going to think about smudging, 
and my lips are hydrated at the same time is this one by Shan Takai. Um, this is the Lip Screen Tint SPF 15 in Ibiza. It's just the prettiest kind of neutral, translucent, pinky nude. Don't have to think about it when you put it on, just super easy. Again, really complimentary, I think. For summer, it just is like a bit of a your lips look better shade really nice and natural and again that way i've got my kind of lip balm a little bit of color and my spf in one so that for me is kind of my final makeup tip if you are out in the evening and you want to give your body a bit of sheen i do think you can't beat the charlotte tilbury supermodel body that is great it has the metal applicator in it so you get like a bit of lymphatic drainage as well nice little massage to your legs getting great after a long haul flight if you're going on holiday just a really really nice way to kind of give your limbs a bit of length a little bit of sheen and kind of tie everything together especially if you're already really sweaty because it's really hot just go there so that's it guys i hope that was helpful hopefully there were some products in there that might be helpful for your next hot holiday or if you're currently trying to survive the heat wherever you are i hope you're getting some time to enjoy it as well and being outside i would absolutely love it if you guys subscribe i will link the blog post mentioned down below as well uh, in the description box don't forget to follow me on blog loving blog loving even just harry makes it up i blog at least two three times a week and um i will see you guys soon let me know what you'd like to see more of and i hope you have a great day whatever you're doing thanks so much guys bye